I'm David Brashear, director of the Muscarelli Museum of Art. Very happy to be with you again today in the Sheridan Gallery of the museum to explore some of the treasures in our exhibition entitled In Focus, New Acquisitions in Photography. In this exhibition, we're featuring some of the latest additions to our growing collection of important photography. The exhibition is a broad look at the art form, exploring not only a wide range of topics, but also charting the evolution of photographic process and photographic technique. We have works by some of the most important photographers in the history of the art on display, alongside the works of important contemporary artists. Today, I'd like to focus on two works in the exhibition created by two of the most important architectural photographers of the 20th century, Ezra Stoller and Julius Schulman. Architectural photographers like Stoller and Schulman played an important role in both giving definition to the meaning of modern design in the middle of the 20th century and advancing the evolution of modern architecture in America. In their images, they presented something that went beyond buildings. They told compelling stories of post-war America and the desire to advance and excel. And their photographs were, in some ways, pictorial dictionaries of the direction of modern design and all of its possibilities. Celebrated architects like Frank Lloyd Wright, Louis Kahn, Eero Saarinen, Philip Johnson, Mies van der Rohe, and many others, they sought out photographers like Stoller because their sharp eyes were able to put to image what a thousand words could never describe. Their perfect creations were marketing engines for these leading architects. In this image of Wright's Guggenheim Museum from 1959, we recognize the hallmarks of Stoller's work. Clarity of composition, monumentality, crisp detail, and in this case, an element of the unexpected. Two nuns in traditional dress walking past one of the most unconventional and uniquely modern creations that could be encountered in urban America. A marvelous juxtapositioning. Julius Schulman occupied a different space in the canon of important architectural photography. Highly focused on the modernist architecture of the West Coast, and in particular California, his photographs document the emergence of a new lifestyle based on the pleasant climate and easy living of Southern California. Growing very quickly after the end of World War II, California seemed to many a dream, and Schulman's photographs helped to capture the essence of that dream. In this image of architect Pierre Koenig's case study house number 22 in Los Angeles and dating from 1960, Schulman presents one of the most celebrated works of modern architecture in Southern California. The building was part of the experimental case study house program initiated by the enthusiast John Intenza, who was editor of Arts and Architecture magazine and a proponent of American modernism. The purpose of Intenza's case study house program was to seek out and achieve affordable modular housing for families using primarily glass and steel construction. And so what we find in Schulman's iconic image is this, a reach beyond the simplicity of the materials and forms. And again, a definitional moment that this simplicity, this reduction could actually result in a sense of opulence, glamor, an optimistic look toward tomorrow, really a wonderful capturing of the essence of the California zeitgeist. And the impact of images like this from Schulman and others helped to propel the force of change and the energy of new creation. In a world that wasn't defined by content overload, by unending streams of video as we are today, in that world, works by Schulman and Stoller helped advance modern design. Rising architects learned from the images of these artists perhaps even more than they learned from the architects themselves. 
And at least part of what we live among today is a result of these talented and creative photographers and the work they did. Thank you again for joining me today, and we look forward to seeing you again at the Muscarelli sometime very soon.